Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly love reading for January the 21st through the 27th. January the 21st through the 27th. Okay, welcome to all my old and new subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, would love for you to do so. Click that little button down below. Um, I did put up on the community tab a poll for um, what we're going to see when we hit 10,000. And at the time of this reading, we need 50 more people to hit 10,000 subscribers. And um, you all voted for the um, Ciro, Ciro Marchetti um, Oracle Deck, Oracle of Visions. So as soon as I hit, we hit 10,000, I'll be ordering that. All right, and just a brief note, Pisces, since you are so very intuitive. Um, yesterday, I felt a, a pull, a draw to a place, and I dismissed it, and I felt the pull and draw to a place, and I dismissed it, and I felt the pull and draw to a place, and I dismissed it, and I kept dismissing it, and kept dismissing it, and thought, well, I'll just go there tomorrow. And I missed an opportunity, discovered tonight, so, Pisces, trust your intuition <laughs> and follow it, my dears. <laughs> All right, so representing you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Let me move some lighting over here. That's a little bit better. Representing how you feel, we have the Seven of Cups. Representing your expectations, we have the Four of Wands. <clears throat> representing the person you're energetically connected to we have the the four of swords they're taking a break how they feel we have judgment their expectations the king of swords the challenge nine of swords here i was just saying how wonderful it was that we didn't have the nine of swords oh all right Advice, Two of Wands, and possible outcome for the week, The Fool. That's beautiful, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy we have for this reading is the Hangman. That's your energy, Pisces. I don't have any place to put this. I'll just stick it over here for now. Okay. <sighs> All right, Pisces. So, representing you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you, especially with this Nine of Swords challenge um, here, I feel like those of you that are dealing with some mental strains and struggles um, due to a connection that... Um, you are either current, I don't feel like you're with this person because this person's taking a break with this Four of Swords. So let me just state that real quick. If you're married or, or living with somebody and this equates to you too, that maybe they're just kind of like blocking you off um, emotionally or something of that nature, it could apply to you as well. But I'm feeling like you're not with this person because of this Four of Swords that represents them is an energy where somebody's having to take a break. Um, so excuse the dog noises in the background. So I feel like you're guarding your emotions with this Knight of Pentacles, particularly in this deck, because in this deck, the Knight of Pentacles is represented by this ornate statue, and the only way to get in is through um, the use of a key which is heavily guarded by the Knight of Pentacles. And so I feel like you're guarding your emotions, you're guarding your heart. Um, there's something associated with this connection that makes you feel like you have no other choice but to guard your emotions, probably because you've been in a lot of mental anguish here with, and worry and fear. Nine of Swords has a lot to do with worry and fear, sleepless nights, things of that nature. 
So I feel like you're guarding your heart, Pisces. And what they're currently going through, we have this Four of Swords. So they could be dealing with stresses and strains of life. Um, they could be dealing with stress and strain of, of making a decision regarding this connection as well, since, since these cards specifically have to do with the connection between the two of you. Um, they're taking a break. They're, they're mentally... Hmm. It's very possible they could have been having some sleepless nights too with this down here. There's a lot of worry and, and stress and anxiety with the Four of Swords as well. It's almost like the two of you are going through the same energy in a different way. Now, Pisces, how you feel about this person? We have the Seven of Cups. So this could be viewed in several ways. Either you could feel like this person is needing to make a decision. You could feel like this person has a lot of options and that they're trying to make a decision between you and another person or you and many people. Um, this person could have a little bit of a, a kind of a player vibe to them and that's why you're sort of feeling that seven of cups. Or Pisces, this could be your energy. You could be dealing with, you know, putting um, people who are people who are are coming to you aside as you're waiting for this connection to have some sort of movement. So it's very likely that one of the two of you may have options, or both of you may. You both may be putting off the options while you try to figure out what's going on with this. How they feel, there's the judgment card. Uh, especially since we have the King of Swords and their expectations, I feel like like there's some there may be some some regret that they're dealing with with regards to something they may have said or done um, or something you said or, done, or did. Um, they may be wanting a second chance with you, but they're not sure how to approach you because of something that they did or you did. They could simply want to apologize. That's sometimes an apology card. Um, or want an apology from you. They may want forgiveness from you in order to move forward. Now your expectations, Pisces, we have the Four of Wands. So you might be expecting that the two of you are going to be able to work this out and that everything will be fine and harmonious and peaceful and loving and kind and passionate. Um, this is a card of great passion, too. So I feel like you're expecting everything's going to work itself out at some point. <laughs> a very optimistic viewpoint here. Um, they're expecting some harsh, honest communication here with this King of Swords. Um, they may be expecting that you're angry with them because this King of Swords has this kind of you know, sort of burning stare here. So they may expect, especially if there's something that, that they're regret, regretful over, they may be expecting you to be uh, very angry with them, perhaps a little bit cutting with, with regards to communication. Um, but they are expecting wh when and if they speak to you that it's going to be an open, honest discussion. Your challenge is the two of you getting beyond this Nine of Swords energy. Um, since this is a mutual energy, I feel like the two of you both are dealing with fears and worries. And, you know, one of you may be worried about one aspect of the connection while another may be worried about another. Um, but while you're not communicating and while you're not together, there's nothing you can do together to get beyond that. Um, so your, your challenge is the two of you getting outside of this independent mental energy and struggle to communicate, to find the peace and the harmony in this situation. The advice card for you, Pisces, is for you to make a decision. You may be needing to make a decision about this connection as to whether or not you want this connection to continue. Let me, um, I'm not sure if you can see all that clearly or not. Hopefully you can. Um, it, to me, it looks kind of fuzzy. So, uh, 
but it looks like you know you're needing to make a decision perhaps you're needing to make a decision about what you want before this person does communicate with you you may be needing to make a decision on how to proceed um, this may also be telling you see we got this hangman energy this is a very stuck energy it's um you know not knowing what to do i feel like both of you don't know what to do both of you are, are in this energy of not knowing what to do you're both not talking you're both just sitting there you're both waiting for the other person to do something or say something and um you know it's just stagnant it's not moving somebody needs to step outside that comfort zone and communicate so i feel like pisces for you um, this may be saying for you to focus on your dreams, focus on, you know, achieving your dreams and, and place your, your mental energy elsewhere um, while this other person tries to figure out whatever is going on with them. Or you are needing to make a decision about whether or not you truly want this connection or how you would like to see your future with, with or without this person. Now, a possible outcome we have is a brand new beginning with this person. We have the fool. It's a brand new beginning. It's a very optimistic viewpoint. I'd like to take um, some clarifying cards in all of this, Pisces. Because you go from like this really tough energy to boom, we have this optimistic forward movement. Is the fool here and the possible outcome for Pisces in their energetic connection? Why is the fool here for Pisces? I don't know if I felt them jump. I don't know if you saw it because I wasn't actually looking at the cards at the time. Oh my goodness, Pisces. So this is a potential new beginning, and it has, it has, um, this is interesting. So um, the moon card is clarifying the fool. Um, there may be something significant regarding the full moon that's occurring tonight, or the lunar eclipse tonight. Um, <coughs> just might be something you might want to look into, Pisces as to how that might affect you on an emotional level and on a personal level. Um, I'm not an astrologer, so I really couldn't answer that, but that may be something that you want to look into. But the moon is you moving forward, boldly moving into the future, even though there's confusion and anxiety. So I feel like the two of you are going to recognize, okay, we have some confusion and anxiety here, like both people do, um, but, you know, I feel like the two of you are going to want to take that first step together and say, okay, you know, if we're dealing with confusion and anxiety together or separately, let's deal with it together and see where it goes. L let's take those steps forward together. Find that happiness. Find that peace um, with one another. You know, have, have each other's back. You know, really be there for one another. This Ten of Cups is, is ultimate love, peace, joy, and happiness. And that's where this can potentially go if you're able to get past this energy of the Nine of Swords. Um, this particular connection, Pisces, whomever you're connecting with, brings you a great deal of happiness. And it has the potential to be a very long-term, loving, committed relationship. So that's what I have for you for the week of the 21st through the 27th, Pisces. Let me take uh, Romance Angels for you. Just to note once again, Pisces, if you are intuitively drawn to a place, go. Because <laughs> the universe may be trying to do something in your life that you're unaware of. So stop fighting it. Okay. 
Pisces, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, when that occurs, Bailey just said hi, by the way. Um, when that occurs, sometimes there can be a lot of confusion about how to communicate with one another because you're not used to dealing with people um, who are similar to the person you're connected with. So, um, you know, not only keep an open mind, but also um, place a little bit lower expectations on them and on the, the circumstances, and hopefully they will do the same with you and um, you'll be able to work through those issues. Now we also see children. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, the person you're connected with may have a child and you may not be aware of it or they may be they may be um, you know paying child support to a child or something of that nature um, and they haven't spoken to you about it. Um, you could have children you haven't spoken to them about it or the two of you do have children and you're kind of trying to weigh, you know, how is this connection going to affect my children? Um, hopefully, hopefully some of you that are in this situation have grown children and their opinion really shouldn't matter with your connection. But um, also, it's possible that one of the two of you may want children when the other doesn't or the other can't have child children. Um, you know, that could be an issue as well. So um, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you have a great week and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.